Brave Freight, what's up my peoples? This is a two in one. We didn't get a video out last week. So this week, 21, 24, 21, 25, we've got new drivers, some juicy stats, and a huge pivot in the market with some data that we're seeing. This is a video that you must see. We've got some new drivers to welcome. Let's hear it for Edward Vanderpool, Brandon Welch, Kevin Ardoin, and Dante Peterson. We are stoked that you're part of the team. We've got the top five drivers for 2124, 2125. We'll do each week individually. So 2124, top five coming in, number five at $9,550, Mr. Angel Ortega. Great job coming in at just $50 more, securing in the fourth spot, new driver, $9,600, Daedra Merritt. Great work. Coming in number three, $10,570, Peter Ketch. Great work, man. Coming in at number two, $12,150, Mr. Kenneth Netterville. Great work. And number one, $14,000, Darian Washington, bonkers, great job. Moving into week 2125, top five, number four is Luis Morales. Snuck in the fifth position by $73. So great work, Luis. Coming in at number four, just a couple hundred dollars more, $8,100, Mr. Markham Miner. Another new guy on the block, great work, pumping out some phenomenal numbers. Number three, None other than Peter Ketch, $8,100. Great job, two weeks in a row, back to back, top five. Number two, $8,650. My man, Charles Celestine. Good work. And number one, by not even $200, $8,805, Dwight Fiegel. Great job to those of you that were in the top five for 21-24 and 21-25. Notable comments here, Peter Ketch, top five both weeks. Great job. We're gonna rip through the 7K club. So we'll do everybody in this list gross $7,000 or more in 21-24. Renee Perez, Shannon Williamson, Kevin Deverell, Jermaine Pereira, Luis Morales, Jeffrey Alsip, Daryl Smith, Gerald Smucker, Carl Mann, Bobby Moore Jr., and Claude Noble. 21-25, 7K club. We've got Michael Callahan, Renee Perez again, Gerald Smucker again, Elmer Cunningham, Angel Ortega again, he was top five, 21, 24, Samuel Moore, Jose Marti, Edward Murray, and Wojciechek Nowakowski. That's it for the 7K Club 21, 24, and 21, 25. Let's rack some numbers up. Side-by-side -side comparison, 21-24, 21-25. So here we go. Total miles, 21-24, 110,844. 21-25 was 115,980. So a few more miles. Average deadhead, 21-24, 119. 21-25 was 107, same ballpark. Average line haul, 813 in 2124 and 799 in 2125. Our gross revenues, we'll go ahead and uh, it's going to be easier. I'll split these up into each individual week. So 2124, uh, gross revenue, $280,852.19. Amazing. Weekly individual gross average, $5,851.08. Highest grossing driver, as we know, was 14K, Darian Washington. Lowest grossing driver, 825 bucks. The average load value, my favorite stat, $2,360.10. Take the load, make the money. Average dollar per mile was $2.53. Lowest dollar per mile was $1.16. And the highest dollar per mile was $8.16. So I don't know if I said that right, Average dollar per mile was 253, lowest dollar per mile 116, highest dollar per mile $8.16. Incredible numbers. Moving on ahead to 2125, 
Total gross revenue, $271,627.64. That's nuts. You guys have made over a half a million dollars in two weeks. That just blows my mind. You guys are beasts and you gals are beasts. You people, you party animals, whatever pronoun you uh, prescribe to, you are beasts. So uh, highest grossing driver in 2125, $8,805. Lowest grossing driver was 120 bucks. So not much movement for that cat. Average load value, $2,122. Uh, a weekly individual gross average 2125 was $5,432.55. And then we got some average dollars here. Average dollar per mile was 234. Lowest dollar per mile was a dollar 25, and highest dollar per mile was 637. Those numbers are crazy to see them week to week, back to back. Check out this update. This is huge. Here at Brave Freight, we are launching a brand new division. I am stoked for it. What if I could select nine of you? and I could show nine of you how to increase your bottom line by 35% without working any additional hours. It's not a guess, it's not a gander, this is true. Business is all about staying on top of trends. And to stay on top of trends, we need data and market research. That's why we invest literally tens of thousands of dollars into the most up to the hour data to be able to make decisions, not only for our company, but more importantly, for you as owner operators and our partner small fleet owners. We've crunched some serious numbers and we have some insights that I think are going to be very important for you to hear, especially if you wanna max out on your income this summer. What we found with data is that the flatbed market is paying gross 20 to 30% more than the van market. We're seeing that capacity uh, is, there's much more flexibility and capacity. There's much more loads per, per trailer available in the flatbed market. And what's so beautiful about this increase of gross revenue in the flatbed market is it doesn't increase your bottom line expenses. You're going to be spending the same fuel. You're gonna be spending roughly the same trailer costs. You're gonna be spending the same insurance, the same et cetera, the same et cetera, the same et cetera. But you're going to be increasing your gross margin by the numbers that we found by 20 to 30%. And that's a 20 to 30% that goes directly to your bottom line. We are able to select nine drivers that we're willing to coach and train and even equip to be able to pioneer this flatbed market. We have, I don't know, maybe a half a dozen drivers right now that run flatbed. I just met up with Charles in uh, Lakeland, Florida last week. We're releasing an entire video for those of you that wanna get in this market and don't really know how to get in this market. It's basically a 30 minute 101, 201 in safely running a flatbed, but there is a serious opportunity here and uh, we're excited to bring it to you. So to help make that transition a little bit easier, we're going to be paying for startup equipment for nine of you. So we're gonna be paying for tarps and straps uh, for nine of you to be able to move over. And we're also going to be paying for the next six weeks of trailer rentals for the first nine of you that move over to this division with us. One of the main reasons that we're doing it is the van market is becoming saturated. You might have found that it's incredibly difficult to get your hands on trailers. We have new drivers right now that have been waiting for some trailers and the market is at capacity. That does mean great rates, but it also means that as these markets shift, that the vans are going to see the, this decrease of income uh, the first, because there's such a plethora of vehicles that are out there, right? It's all supply and demand. So as soon as the amount of loads for vans start to dwindle, there becomes an overabundance of vans in the market now, which means that brokers and shippers do not need to pay those vans as much money because they have their choice of carriers to be able to work with. What we're seeing in the flatbed market is the opposite, is that the amount of loads, and we have some slides that we'll show you here, is that the amount of loads that's available versus the amount of flatbeds that are available, that there's a bigger margin, which means more opportunity. Um, we've got some data here. So um, the markets we picked are based on average routes of flatbeds will take and the amount of volume that's in those markets. 
Uh, Chicago, Illinois is a central hub as well as Dallas, Texas. We're going to be comparing Northeast markets due to their high rates uh, heading into the Northeast. So understanding the average of Northeast markets like Baltimore, Maryland, and Jersey is going to show how the flatbed market does overall compared to van. Because that's what we're showing here. We're not just saying, hey, we'll help you get started in van uh, in flatbed by paying for a couple items, but we're, we're showing you it at a 20 to 30 percent increase of pay. You're looking at roughly $700, $1,200 a week increase of income. And that's going to mean potentially $50,000, $60,000 of direct profit to your bottom line. So you'll see here the what we call the flatbed inbound tender reject rate. So that means the amount of loads that are being rejected. What does a rejected load say? When these contracts are rejected, what that means is that the spot market is paying better than what the contracts are. So carriers are rejecting contracts to get the spot market. And we're seeing that there's a 30% rejection rate increase of flatbeds over vans, which means that the carriers have more strength when they're dealing in the flatbed market compared to vans. The mileage per, um, the mileage, uh, dollar per mileage is going to, we're going to cover here in some markets. So we're looking at Atlanta, Georgia to Philadelphia, PA, the van market's averaging 345. The flatbed market is averaging 428. That's a 24% increase of pay. Okay. We're going to see here, and there's a 23% increase of volume over van. So not only is it paying more, but there's more loads available for flatbed. We did the same thing here with Philadelphia, uh, to Cleveland. Um, Baltimore uh, to Cleveland rather, Memphis, Tennessee to Chicago, Jersey City to Winchester. We're seeing many of these markets are paying, you know, at the least, you know, seven, eight percent more, five percent more. And a lot of these markets are paying 29, 30 percent, 21 percent more with higher volume. So if you're one of the drivers that wants to embark in this flatbed uh, division, we're going to help take care of you. It's a uh, an increase of pay, like I said, 25 to 30% on average is going to be your gross revenue increase, which is going to go directly to your bottom line. We're going to help with the transition cost to play for some tarts and straps. And we're also going to pay for the next six weeks of trailer. So it ends up being about $2,000 of goodies that we're going to invest into you to ultimately give you a massive increase in, in pay. So if that's you, if you're interested in being part of this flatbed division and uh, you know making some extra money in this route, reach out to to your team coordinator, we, uh, your DDC, reach out to your dispatcher, let them know, and we're gonna go ahead and get you outfitted. This summer is going to be the best summer in freight. Thank you.